Hi folks, welcome. You just caught me, I just got back from uh, my Amish carpenter. Uh, we just picking, went to pick up uh, this wheel, which is a finished wheel, and another one I've got in the back of the car there, which is a kit wheel. So join me, I'm just going to, I'm just basically, I just thought it's an opportunity to shh. I know I've done videos on this before, but yeah, it's just nice to see. This is a brand new one. Never been. So. Nice to see. It's nice to see them when they're not dirty. <laughs> they don't stay like this for long, though, do they? As you know, we like to get them dirty. Yeah, I'm actually down here in the lower part of my yard because it's like kind of windy today up there on the top. So we've got a little bit of a, uh, as you can see, you can see we've got a bit of a garden fence, uh, so it gives a little bit of um, shelter. I like a bit of shelter, don't we? Okay. So, yes, I'm actually, I thought what I'd do is I'd just put, put it together. there. A lot of sunshine, it's a bit difficult. Okay. Clips down, you see. That's it. That's clipped down. Now, what you've got to do is miniature blade here. <laughs> so that Bring this so you can see. So, yeah, on the here uh, on the on the shaft here, this uh, it, 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 it can go it can go up and up and down. You see, according to the um, which. Uh, 
that's a little bit probably the links in the chain you know just gonna have to put that down a sec the camera okay there it is I got it of course it's being new everything is a bit stiff and it needs to have some some grease so that collar there you see that's supposed to be supporting the leather strap and that that has to be done up tight though on the grub screw there all right and it's got grease nipples here here and also up underneath here to bear the bearings and down underneath so quite nice quite nice as I say it's always nice to have a record of these things before they get all covered in clay get this in the tripod here um, we've got all this plastic here we'll just cut through that okay so So it's important with these wheels to get the, the the treadle bar. At the moment, this is still a bit loose here. It's got to be it's got to be set up properly. Um, the treadle bar needs to be horizontal. Okay, so we, we have to check that, but I'm not going to do that now. Uh, I've got another box of tricks over here. Let me get into that. Let's see what's inside here. This was waiting on the doorstep when I got home. A nice cardboard box. Very nice cardboard box. Huh? Very. I keep I keep boxes, you know, as I'm sure you do. As well as bubble wrap, of course. We keep that, don't we? Ah, so. This has been. You can guess what this is. That is a wheel head, which will go. Yeah, so on there, as you can see, on the top of the shaft here, there's a, a flat. So that's where we put the, that's where we put the screw there. There it is. So we'll have to do that up. Should have a should have a, a little key for that okay so that there that there is a treadle wheel a finished leech treadle wheel that's how they look so, sometimes I sell them um, fully assembled like this for people who specifically want them like that and I charge of course a little more for that because the extra work involved in in a varnish it's got five coats of varnish on that uh, etc and the assembly of it so it's a little it turns out a little bit more expensive than 
not that much more expensive than, than a kit wheel, but it is a bit more expensive. But I'm not shipping these anymore. I am through shipping those. So if you want one finished, you'll have to come and pick it up. Now in the, in the car here, if you get a kit wheel, if you get a kit wheel, this is what they will look like. Oh, there's a key. That's the key that goes with that, with that guy to tight, tighten up the wheel head. Um, this is a, the kit wheel. And basically, let's start with the legs or the frame. That, that is here, you can see in the back seat of the car. These are all the, all the pieces that make up the frame, all with the mortises and tenons cut. Uh, this is maple. It's pretty nice and, and smooth, but you know, you can make it even smoother with a bit of sandpaper. So that's, that's, that's the legs or the frame. That's the, this part, all of the framework. And then here, this is the seat. That's the seat. That's the seat and the this piece that goes underneath here, which is basically just a piece of wood that sits on on top of the on top of the crank. All right. Um, what else is and the seat here and this little piece that's underneath the seat here so it's those three pieces are wrapped up in there okay that is self-explanatory that is the the tray uh, this is in sh in cherry wood with walnut capping across the top here um, has a, a Stainless steel liner. It's the underside. And then below here is the flywheel itself. Um, all pre drilled, of course. And then over here. That is the crank there with the collar that I just talked to you about. And put that there. Oop, the wind. The wind bloweth. What else? Yeah, here in this in this bag you've got all the necessary nuts, bolts, washers, clips, bearings, tubes, brass latches, everything that you need, braces, the whole lot. Basically what I'm saying is all the periphery items like the chain, the braces, nuts and bolts, uh, la uh, hook here, you know, all these pieces of metal, the coupler here, the wooden coupler, etc. etc. All, all those parts, all in that bag. So that's it. There, there you have two leech wheels, one, one as a kit, the other as the finished article. So if that's what it will look like when you put it together, it looks like that. All right. Um, that's the view from this side. This is, this is the flywheel is made of, of plywood. Uh, I believe it's marine, marine grade, so it's water, you know, water resistant, etc. That's about it, folks. That's the house. <laughs> house. That's, that's the studio up there. And that's the house there. All right, so I, I, I hope you found that interesting. Um, and uh, 
if you're interested, I did actually want to keep this wheel for myself, the finished one. But, you know, I've had a lot of workshops cancelled this year so far, so I'm, I'm actually working at a loss at the minute, and so I need to recoup where I can. So if anybody does want that wheel and they can come and pick it up, I'm not going to ship it. But if you want to come and pick it up, I'll sell it to you. I suppose. But anyway, such is life. Um, and also the one there in the back of the car, the kit wheel, that is available. No problem with that. I will, intended that one always to be available. But basically I suppose both of them are available. Maybe maybe now you know you you're 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 indoors more and maybe you might want to spend a bit more time in your pottery studio. So think about that if that's if that's something that you think that you'd like. I'm not going to be making these getting these wheels made forevermore. As I keep saying, but I keep <laughs> I keep coming back to making them, don't I? I like making them, you know, they're such a great wheel in a way, you know, and I wish I could I wish I could make more than just what I do, but it's a limited market. I appreciate that. But uh yeah, give me a shout if you're interested. Write to me, Simon Leach. Simon Leach Pottery at gmail.com. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to, to mention is that I'm going to be, now that everybody's at home and we are confined to quarters, I am going to be using Zoom to do Zoom clay. <laughs> Zoom clay, yeah, Zoom clay. In other words, uh, we'll get set up, get set up with Zoom, download Zoom, and then we'll do some on, I'll do some online teaching in small groups, probably no more than six or eight people. And uh, you can set up your phone or whatever you've got by your wheel. And I will zoom in, <laughs> zoom in on you. And uh, I'll give you some on the spot tuition right there and then. And I can click and move from person to person to person. And we'll run a class for, you know, an hour or two hours, something like that. See how it goes. Yeah, and we'll charge a, a nominal amount. I don't want to make it too expensive for people. But, you know, at the same time, I want to cover my costs and recuperate where I can. So, uh, think about that. Joining a Zoom clay class. If that appeals to you. And... I'll tell you what, if you're listening to this video, and just to help me, give me some feedback. You know, because you, you throw up ideas in, in the air, don't you? You think, I wonder, I wonder if that would work, I wonder. So give me some feedback. If you think it's a good idea, just say, Simon, yeah, I'm one of your, I'm, I, I like, I'm one of your YouTube workshop kind of people. I think it's a great idea. If it's something that would interest you, why don't you just drop me an email, let me know because that'll help me then. It'll help me plan it. It'll encourage me in my thinking, forward thinking, because it's difficult to plan, isn't it, to forward think at the minute. Where's all this going? You know, life as we know it comes to a standstill. So it'll help me. So if that's something you think would help you, then let me know. Okay, good. That's about it. I am hoping that our workshop schedule will restart Obviously, it's going to be not probably until the summer and the autumn. So uh, don't give up on that for, for then. Um, yeah. All right, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing in your home studio. <laughs> and give me a heads up about that Zoom clay if you think that's something that is a good idea. Whether or not you get you want you would participate in it, yeah. If you'd participate in it, let me know for sure. But maybe maybe you're just an observer, but you maybe think, yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think you should do it. We all need encouragement, don't we, in these times? So let me know. Okay, thanks a lot, folks. From Milheim, Pennsylvania. Hasta la vista. <laughs>